Hey, Steve Gamash here for Chef Knives to Go, and we have another quick look product review. And what we're looking at this time is the Takayuki TUS uh, Guto 210mm knife. So this steel, you can read about it on the product page, it's called TUS or TUS Stainless. Uh, HRC, I should say, uh, heat treat rating is about 59 or Rockwell on that. So uh, kind of standard for this kind of range of steel, 59, pretty standard. Uh, construction, mono steel, one piece of steel that's probably laser cut and then ground to shape. And then we have, it's fairly light, even with the, uh, the Western handle on it. So it is 143 grams or 5.0 ounces. These will vary a little bit from knife to knife. This line probably be pretty close from knife to knife. Uh, edge length, about 212 millimeters on the edge from the tip all the way to the back of the heel, or about 8.3 inches-ish. And overall length, about 13 inches given tip to handle end. Uh, thickness wise, it's a fairly thin knife. So 1.9 millimeters thick at the spine is what I got coming out of the bolster or the handle and about 1.5, about halfway down. And it doesn't get like crazy thin towards the edge, but it does have a bit of a taper to it. That's known as a distal taper when the spine thickness kind of gradually thins out and it gets thin enough towards the edge that this tip should do pretty nicely. And then here's the back choil shot. Not super skinny at the edge, but thin enough. This should, again, have pretty good balanced uh, performance properties to it. Uh, blade height is about 46 millimeters on it. So you got pretty good height for uh, clearance on your knuckles here in the cutting board, your fingers. Handle, uh, so it's a pack of wood, which is a stabilized wood product. And they've got, um, They've sanded away the finish on it on the sides to make the wood show through, but that's what's underneath. You've got stainless rivets. Um, did a nice job on the uh, bolster here. It's one of those integrated bolsters that flows into the hand, into the blade. And then you got a full tang here all the way through. Uh, but it's still actually fairly light. Um, so the balance point on this, the blade's fairly thin. So the balance point's right in front of that bolster, um, which is kind of to be expected for a, a Western full tang handle and a light blade. So balance wise, yeah, it's gonna be a little bit handle heavy if you do a pinch grip. Uh, let's see, fit and finish is nicely done. Um, the only exception, and let's get our beauty shot here first where I get my fingerprints all over it. See if we can, he's tricky with the lights here. Uh, let's see, let's go with that. All right, so you can see on the right side of the blade, you've got your, this would be the right side of the blade as you're holding it. You've got your kind of machine finish there and there's your logo screened on. On the left side, it's plain, but you've got your machine marks there. Again, the blade is pretty thin. It's um, got a little bit of flex to it in the front half especially. Back half's not too bad. Front half's got a little more flex to it as you might expect from a thinner blade. Um, out of the box edge, is pretty sharp. I'm gonna give it a six out of 10 on my scale. Um, it's got a little polish to it. It's a pretty nice edge, uh, fairly well crafted, I think. And um, I'm going to ding it on the fit and finish for the spine, which is a bit sharp on the corners, and also the choil back here is a bit sharp. So some people could care less. To me, it kind of bugs me, so I'm a little more attuned, in tune to that. Uh, the edge is what I would call a 70 or 30-70. What that means is if you're holding the knife, this side is about 30% out of 100 width wise and this one's about 70 percent in comparison so um, the edge bevel itself is a little bigger on the right side than the left side that means this might steer just a little bit for you it's not a 50 50 edge but uh, you can always tweak that with sharpening if it tends to steer the blade itself is symmetrical but the edge is not but that's really easy to, to fix if you don't like that um, what else? We did that, that, that. Uh, let's look at the cutting board profile. All right, here we go. That's that twist there. Need to get some. That's what I'm going to do for the next round of videos. I'm going to put a little something on the bottom of this board so it doesn't rotate. Should have done that before. <laughs> so here is our cutting board profile. So uh, you can see. It's uh, got a little bit of a flat, it kind of flows. It's, it's a nice curve to the, 
edge here to the edge profile. So it kind of flows into a bit of a stop. It does rotate at the heel there, but you got a flattish area in the back part of the blade. So that should do nicely for chopping. Fairly low belly here uh, towards the middle, not a lot of uh, arc there. And then I can get, oh, up in there for the tip starts digging in. So um, this should rock pretty nicely. Um, push pull cut, no problem. Glide cuts, uh, tip draws should be fine. A uh, little bit of chopping area towards the back. So I'd say a pretty dug on versatile profile for this knife. Um, so if you're looking for something all stainless, it's uh, easy to take care of, that's uh, nice looking, it's got a cool handle, uh, western style if you're looking into that, it's a, it's a nice blade, so light, kind of easy, easy to use. So this is the Takayuki TUS Guto 210mm knife.